Hi there guys, it's Yako here. I'd like to show you a really exciting way to create shapes in 3D code, but before we get started, let's take a look how we can import reference images. I got this question recently on Twitter that where is the panel where you can import reference images to 3D code, so let's take a look. If we go to camera and we go to background, we can see we have these three options here. Reference image for X, Y and Z axis, so I'm going to select the Y axis and I'm going to check this image which I found from, from Wikipedia, it's a uh, Creative Commons license. I'm going to put the credit to the creator to the comment section, so I'm, I'm not breaking any copyright law here. So we've got these uh, handles here, <clears throat> so we can uh, use these handles to size our reverence image, so then it's very nice and we can move it around by using these arrows in the edges and then these little balls on the corners so we can adjust the shape. And now anytime we want to be, we want to commit to our reference image, we just uh, hit this pin here, which will <coughs> hide the reference image controls and allow us to really sculpt or create something. So if we want to go back, we just hit this and we can again resize and move our reference image. So it's really important to remember to, to pin this floaty window here, because otherwise you can't do any sculpting. You're just going to be editing the reference image. <coughs> so I'd like to show you curves tool. It's a really wonderful way to create organic shapes in 3D code. So I'm going to hit the curves here. And we have these four options here. We have extrude, rotate, move and scale. We can use these to create uh, our curve. And now we can also use the mouse, the middle uh, scrolly wheel, so we can get, a, get an idea of the thickness of our curve. And I'm just going to go and start lay, lay down some points here. And anytime when I'm doing this, I can hit W on the keyboard so we can actually move these points to create our curve. We can hit Q and continue creating the points. So I'm just gonna go and follow the reference image here. Something like this. So we get the organic shape we are after. Yes, yeah, something like this might actually, might actually be really nice. So anytime we, when we get this green ball, it means we can continue adding the points. So anytime you can also add points to the middle of the curve by just moving the mouse here you can see that we have a green ball here so we can just add point here for example and then then do this but I'm not gonna do that so I'm gonna delete the I'm just gonna delete the point. Now there's also the option to use closed curve so I'm just gonna hit closed here so we can get entire closed shape in here. The other thing what we can do is that we can also use field inside and this will create this flat shape which is defined by these points. So it's really good to remember that we also have this option. We can also edit the individual spline points. So if we hit edit points, we can see we have our coordinates here and also we have radius. So I'm thinking maybe we are just a tad uh, too thick. So I'm gonna go and maybe uh, make it a little bit thinner. We can also adjust the thickness of individual points anytime. We just click it and then uh, we have this box in the corner. So if we do that, we can see that we are going to be able to adjust the thickness. Or we can also use different profiles. So if we want to make something like, a, let's say, for example, a worm or something like that, you can see you can do this. Or for example, back arrow or muscle or... Yes, and so on. But for this, let's use straight. We can also use these shapes here in the splines panel. So we can, for example, create chain by clicking this, and you can see we have a we have a real nice looking chain here. Something that would take a long time to model by hand. So so if we hit move now, we can see that it sort of retains its shape. That the individual links don't deform unnaturally, and and it just great gets longer and shorter like this. And it's it this really works well. I'm really big fan of this so whenever I need to create chains to my scene this is probably the tool that I'm going to be using. This is even better than the curves in ZBrush I feel that this is much more like well easy to use and doesn't get messed up so easily so yes I'm really big fan of this and we can try the other shapes we can create some kind of tubes such as these or or like coils and so on just really awesome way to to do this. Now we can also rotate uh, the individual uh, spline points. So if we just click rotate, we can get this green cone shape thing in here. And if we click this, we can see that 
you can start to rotate from one point and then the rest of the spline will rest of the curve will follow so we can do either this or this so it depends on which way the cone is pointing so we can also add or reduce scale by using this slider here it's a very wonderful way to to decide how thick our curve is going to be so so i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to use curves in 3d code so thanks for watching and i hope to see you soon this was Siakko and bye bye